His evangelical church has been called a cult by critics. Alemo denies all charges and blames the U.S. government and the Catholic Church for selling his name, Julie. All right, Courtney Keeley, thank you very much. Let's get both sides to the story. Now, again, Tony Alemo says that the feds are just trying to harass him. Well, I want to talk to him himself about the raid and the allegations. And he joins us me uh, on the phone right now. Tony Alemo is on the phone Hello, with us. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, Tony, why don't you tell us why do you think the feds are trying to harass you and why would they accuse you of child pornography and take ch uh, six children from your compound? Because this is what I've accused the federal government of and the Vatican, and uh, they definitely are guilty of uh, homosexuality with young teenage and preteen boys and girls. And uh, they're also uh, involved in turning our little children on in the public schools and letting them have sex and providing condoms and birth control pills for them and so they're firing back that this is the most ridiculous i mean they've charged me with all sorts of things down through the years right. and i've beat, beaten all of them they wanted to they said i wanted to kidnap a federal judge and i'd beat that case tony i don't want to interrupt you but i just want to ask you isn't it true that you were accused in the past of polygamy and that for those at home who aren't sure what that means it means including marrying young girls girls that are younger than the age of consent marrying that, them to older men that, is, that eventually that, that, would want to have sex. that isn't true polygamy is in the bible and it's condoned by god now, if you uh, weasels have got a complaint about God, you go to him and talk to him about that. I just preach the Bible. And I right, have but the marrying right a minor is not necessarily something oh, that I you never, would say God I would condone, married, right? I, I never married well, any of, minor. But a lot of polygamous compounds, as you know, do marry children that are underage, and a lot of child abuse takes part in that. I mean, that is a fact. You have to admit that that does go on in this country, and God's got nothing to do with that. Well, uh, God does have something to do. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, the Bible states that the legal age for marriage is at puberty. I'm not married to any teenage girls who don't want to be. I'm 74 years old. I don't remember reading that in the Bible, sir. And I went to I, I, I went to Bible class every Sunday, Sunday school, and I don't remember saying anything well, about it. I mean, kids are reaching you puberty you at the age of 12. You don't know anything about the Bible. So you're telling me oh, the people that are 12 years oh, old should be able to marry a 40-year-old, oh, and that's okay? What do you say? You're saying that it's okay for a 12-year-old to marry a 40-year-old as long as she has well, reached puberty? Well, in the puberty? Bible, if you read the book of Jasher, you'll see that Rebecca was 10 years old when she married uh Isaac was 40 years old. I know, but that's not the law today, and, and we don't see 10-year-olds getting married. Let's the face it. God, the law of God never changes. 10-year-olds ten, ten shouldn't be married, let's just say that, and they should be waiting well, a lot longer that, before that, they spend the rest believe, of their lives with an every, adult. I, hey, All right. look, at you, you're just talking. You want to interview me, or you just want to yap your stupid mouth off? All right, Tony, you know what? I'm not going to call you any names, uh, but we are going to have to let you go, and I apologize if you didn't like my questions, but I uh, believe that they were fair in, uh, in any amount. All right, Tony Alamo, thank you so much.